Hi people, it's Sheila. And okay, so we are what? Almost at the end of January. So way late doing this, I know. But as you all know, I don't typically do things the right way. I do things my way. And um, I it took me a bit to figure out how I wanted to do this video because I was not certain how I was going to do this video. Like that's plain and simple. That's just what it was. Um, I had to put a lot of thought into it, and I think I may have come up with what I want to do, but I'm winging it. So you know, hey, just bear with me. We'll get through this. We'll get through 2016 together. How's that? Um, so anyway, um, as you can tell by the title of the video, or have an idea what I'm talking about today. It's 2016 and typically the first, probably I, the month really, but for sure, like the first three to four days of the new year to, no, let's just go ahead and say, probably like the first week to two weeks of the new year, but sometimes on into the month like myself, um, everyone's talking about their new year's resolutions and everyone's making plans to do things that um, will impact their life for the the new year that we have just approached. So um, to explain a little bit about myself, I don't typically do that. I um, I used to do resolutions, like I used to sit down and like, or get with my friends and we'd be like, oh, you know, for the new year, we're gonna do this, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do all these crazy things and blah, blah, blah. And what I found myself is most of them never got followed through. Um, I think we were doing them mainly just because that was what everybody did and so you just was like oh girl I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna do that anymore and it, it just became so commercialized it just became so like what everybody else was doing I'm gonna do it too so I kind of put an end to doing the whole resolution thing so um, what I have typically started to do is I do new year life changes or life expectancies um, by that what do I mean um, and typically probably somewhat of the same thing as a new year's resolution I'm just not calling that that so um, yeah so what I've decided to do is I am going to do a breakdown of I don't know how many episodes because I don't know at this point I'm going to I'm taking my time and I'm covering each step but I haven't really summarized just how many steps it's going to be um, I am going to each episode I'm going to talk about a specific thing um, for example this video is gonna be a little bit longer because I'm kind of explaining so if you don't want to hear the whole explanation you can definitely fast forward but I am going to get to something I promise you but um, for example this particular episode is kind of of course to introduce you to what I'm doing and then um, my first and foremost number one step into my 2016 life changes is my life planner which is create 365 and it's um, the happy planner is what it's called and I got this from Michaels um, so I'm showing you that but I'm gonna talk a little bit before I get all into that um, that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick like an episode here and there, like, you know, each episode, like the next one may, will more than likely be um, a healthier me. Uh, not necessarily saying, oh my God, I'm gonna be going to the gym three, you know, three to five times a week and I'm not gonna do this and I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm basically saying is that I am going to um, take certain steps and I'm going to make myself aware of and I I have a book that I haven't written in yet but I'm, I'm I don't know maybe I'll show you that one next but I kind of wanted to do the planner thing first um, I don't know why but I did I think it's because that was the first thing that I integrated into my 2016 so I kind of wanted to do that and then my next step you know what my next step will be my steps like I'm gonna show you everything that I've written down my planner was just really to get me on a plan and I know that sounds weird because some people would probably say well don't you shouldn't you write down everything you want to do first and then do your you know but no for me I got the planner like the end of 2015 and um, I had to like I had to start making plans and so the planner helped me do that and now that I've got a few plans in mind now I'm gonna make my steps I know that probably so totally sounds weird but anyway so um, there will be episodes where I will be talking mainly about 
um, different things and introduce you to the way I am going to treat myself into the 2016, how I'm going to, whether it's on YouTube, my personal life, because as you all know, 2015, I have, I incorporated vlogging into my channel and I probably vlog, well, not probably, I do vlog. I vlog more than I do uh, typical videos, which it's not good, I know, but I just find that my schedule has been so hectic that vlogging was just like so easy. So, um, but I'm going to work on all that, I promise. And I'll give you better breakdowns as I do my episodes, if you follow me here. But anyway, so um, to give you a little bit of background um, as to why, and this year I'm taking a few extra steps that I'd never taken before. And when I don't, in the past, when I haven't followed through or I didn't succeed in a particular life change, I would beat myself up or I would feel really bad. I'm kind of not doing that now because I, that was kind of incorporating the whole resolution thing because then when I didn't follow through, I would be very disappointed in myself. Um, but I think I didn't follow through because I didn't have... I was doing what everybody else was doing. I was trying to go along with the program. And this time now I'm doing just what I feel I wanna do. This probably sounds very random and totally off the chart, so I apologize. But I'm really, really, I've got a plan, I promise. And I am I think as you see it pro, you know, progress, you're gonna understand where I'm going with all this and why I chose the things that I chose. So first and foremost, um, I want to share something with you all that I probably, I, well, let's just face it. I can't believe I'm going to share it, but I am because I think this is part of me moving into 2016 and being a better person and hence why having a planner was so important to me. So um, in 2015, my whole life fell apart. Like um, I went through a lot in 2015 for about... I want to say seven to eight months in 2015, I did not live here in my home. I um, I did a couple of videos and I kind of showed you all where I was making comments like um, I'm in a different place, I'm filming in a different place, but I never really showed you my surroundings and that was because I was not in my home. And um, because of all the things that happened in 2015 and I maybe at some point I'll do a video to just more or less kind of give you a little bit more in scoop <laughs> as to what happened in 2015. But basically, um, in a nutshell, a lot fell apart for me. I had so many goals that I had set forth for myself. And I guess I really have to tell you this to explain why, like when I said in 2015 that I was going to do more YouTube things and I was going to and I'd make all these promises and I know I didn't keep them um, and so to explain why um, during that time some of the times I just had no idea whether I was going or coming so filming was just like not a priority uh, you wouldn't have wanted me to film during some of those times and so um, I could really probably write a book on life and how it happens and how um, how you have to bounce back and how you have to do what you have to do in life. And for some people, what I do is probably totally crazy. For other people, they'll totally get it, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm saying all of this to say, I know you guys will probably watch my channel and, and the ones that have been with me from, you know, start to now, or the ones that have come in in the last few months, because I have noticed that I've had a lot of new subscribers, which thank you so much. I'm getting a lot more comments. Thank you again. Um, but the, for the ones who don't really know and you go back and you look at some of my videos and you're like, okay, girl, you said that this is what you were going to do and we didn't really see a change. Um, this is why. I had so many intentions for 2015 and because of the things that was happening in my personal life, I could not get there. I, um, I had to... It, it was just a mess. And so... I hit it very well, and um, there's one person, aren't you lovely, that kind of, she emailed me, um, hi darling, she emailed me on a personal level, 
and we got a little bit personal and I did share with her that I was having some issues at home with my spouse and um, that things were just not looking good at all. And so she and I conversed back and forth on a private level, but even then, I don't think I opened up to her completely. I didn't say, hey, you know what? I'm not living in my house. And so, um, you know, I, I, I did the best I could to camouflage my life and to, and I would come on and I'd say, oh, you know, like life happens. And, and so I didn't record last week or whatever. And so, but I really didn't, I, you know, I, that was my way of hiding what I was going through. And again, like I said, this video is not going to be about like, oh my God, this is what Sheila, you know, Sheila went through or whatever. And I'm pouring my heart out. It really isn't that. I'm, I'm just really kind of trying to get you to understand why going in 2016, me doing the life changes, um, why it's so important to me and why now more than ever, not calling it a new year's resolution, just calling it life changes. Um, life and I'm saying life changes I think that's the best way to describe it because going into 2016 this year um, this is going to be the start of a true new beginning for me um, I am taking the whole month of January like everyone says oh you know like like again like those resolutions like oh I'm gonna lose 20 pounds by this date or whatever I'm not really so much doing that um, I do want to lose some weight don't get me wrong but um, Basically, I want to make some life changes. And so my life changes are going to not be measured in based on what everybody else is doing or how fast someone feels that you need to get to a certain goal or like I, I need to be um, paraben free in my makeup or I need to be all natural in this or whatever. I'm basically saying I'm doing an overall look back over the last several years of my life and how certain things fell apart, how I ended up where I was in 2015. And I'm personally making a life change within myself. Um, not that, you know, my life was bad, but it wasn't, I mean, it could have gotten worse. So, I mean, I'm not sitting here saying, whoa, it's me. I'm just saying that it was, it's come a time where I needed to just say, you know what, put yourself in check. Just start over, get your life together. So that's basically what I'm doing. So that's why... I wanted to do this video and I want to do it in episodes because this isn't like, oh, I can't list to you five things in 10 seconds and say, you know, this is the new me for 2016 because they will probably change a little bit. They will probably get a little bit more. There may be things that will get a little bit intense. Like I'm, I'm going to, for example, I want to share more like what I'm doing right now. This is pretty intense for me. Like I'm seriously, like I'm shaking inside. Um, I almost want to cry because to think about what I did go through in 2015, see, um, but yeah, so I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want it to be that way. I just want to really, 2016 just really has to be a better year for me. And so in doing that, that's why I decided to break the video up and I'm doing it in an episodes and I'm going to, um, share and my videos won't be like 10 second videos. My videos are never 10 second videos. So, Hey, there you have it. Okay, um, sorry for that little bit of a brief interruption. Um, I had to just kind of take a minute and pull myself together. But um, so in order for me to just kind of like get to the point here and stop rambling, um, I'm going to cut that part short. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Just know that I will be doing episodes in 2016 um, within the next 30 days. I'm going to be breaking down episodes, hopefully at least one a week. Um or however I can incorporate it in. Um, my life changes are happening step by step, day by day. Uh, again, like I said, I can't write. I can't write down and say that by you know January thirty first, all of this is going to be done, or by February fifteenth, all of this and my whole life is going to be different. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in two thousand and sixteen, I'm making some life changes, and um, because I am making these life changes, I want to share them with you all on YouTube. Um, and uh, I'm going to do them in episodes. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. So we're going to talk right now about my new planner. Um, okay, I have a confession to make because I have lost and I, I'm, like, I'm like looking around this room right now because I'm going, where on earth could it be? And I'm almost worried that there's a possibility that I may have thrown it away, which would be disastrous because like that means I threw away money. But anyway, so um, in case she's watching 
D is a young lady that I met. Um, when did I meet D? I met her like right after Christmas, I think, or did I meet her right before Christmas? I don't remember. I think I met her like right after Christmas. Anyway, I met D. She purchased something from me, I think off of Five Mile. I believe it was the, the site that I was selling. And we instantly clicked. And um, so she was sharing how she likes to watch YouTube videos. And I was like, oh my God, I do YouTube videos. And then she shared with me, um, you know, have you ever seen those videos on those planners that are in YouTube that they have on YouTube? And she's like, some of them are like so expensive. And I'm like, yes, I have. And I always look at those and I'm like, oh my God, they're cool planners. And they're, you know, that the whole idea of it sounds fantastic. But why would I spend a hundred dollars on a planner beats the heck out of me. So she shared with me that she had at that time, I think she had just purchased or was about to purchase a planner from Michaels. And, um, I was like listening to her thinking to myself, hmm, that sounds pretty, pretty amazing to me. I would love to have a planner myself. Um, again, not wanting to spend a hundred dollars on a planner. So was not going to do that. Okay. So, um, she mentioned, you know, I think they, that she, they had some on there for like $25 to like, I think want to say $40 would be like the most expensive. And then you can do little things like, um, I hate that I cannot find, and I'm so worried because I honestly think like, I mean, I may have thrown it away and I'll explain later. But, um, so she was telling me, and you can do stickers and everything just like, okay, there's something flying around in my room. Um, there's like stickers and everything just like those ones that you can spend a fortune on, um, I don't know. I don't even know what they're called. And don't get me wrong. If you have one of those, okay, there is seriously something flying around in this room and I'm going to scream. Um, you know, believe me, I'm not knocking it. It's just that I live on a budget and that was just not feasible for me. So no, I'm, you know, not knocking. I'm just saying, I don't have one. Don't want to have a desire to go out and purchase one. When I saw these at Michael's, I was just like, I was totally mesmerized. I was like, you know, this is freaking awesome. This will work for me. So um, she mentioned, you know, hey, um, you know, I think, I don't know which one she got, but she was like, with the stickers and everything. So when I set out to get mine, I'm telling you, there is something flying around in here. So anyway, when I set out to get mine, this is the one I, I ended up with. Actually, there was not, this was the only one they had left, really. So, um, because I kind of waited until, like, too late. Like, it was, like, almost going to be January. I think, like, the next couple of days was going to be January. So, yeah, I, I really waited too long to get it. But anyway, to kind of show you. Now, I will say that these little rings, rings on here are not the original. There are some that are really smaller. And um, you can buy extensions, which these are the bigger ones. I think there's only the two sides, the one that it comes on and then the one that I have here. Um, I went away, I went on and bought the bigger ones right away because I knew that the things that I wanted to do in this planner was going to probably make it grow and I didn't want to have to do it later. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And um, this planner came out like in 2015, like maybe like in July, I think. And so it had like from July all the way through the end of 2016. So I took out all of those months and I started it just in January. So that also gave me a little bit of space. And I'm sorry, I know it's kind of reflecting, but um, this is, like I said, this is what it looks like here on the sides. And then this is the front of it. And as you can see, it says my life. And then on the back, um, and this is kind of like a real durable plastic with like a overlay of shine, like something shiny, like, you know, like a, a clear plastic over it. And then of course it shows um, the Create 365, which is kind of like, I guess, like the brand of all the things that work with it. Like if you see something that says Create 365, it'll work in this planner basically. So um, I like to show you the planner and I did this myself. Like this, um, this says um, my name and it says Plan a Happy Life 2015 to 2016 or, and at the top it says, hello, this happy planner belongs to, and then there's my name. So, I, and I did this with little sticker labels. Now, these st stickers were not the ones that came with the Create uh, 365. These were just the random stickers that you see, like, um, I don't know, wherever. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> I saw these, and I like these a lot better. So, I did that, and then... Um, these are like little, um, these were also, okay, and I, I feel kind of bad now because I'm telling you about the things to go with this, and now I'm showing you everything that really didn't go with this. And now these are called receipt pockets, and so these are like little pockets that you can stick receipts down in, and I stuck a couple of these on the front, um, the front binder of this, and um, 
yeah so and then of course like I said I've got all my months and um, and then all the months are actually back here like January through um, December of 2016 and then these I bought these little folders now these were by create 365 and they're different um, scenarios but um, yeah so I really really like these because these are like little folder pockets so I can stick all kinds of receipts special pictures and things like that um, in there and then of course these are just some things and this is where I was making some notes about what I'm kind of getting ready to incorporate my whole life changes and stuff like that um, and then of course like I said I did I don't want to show you because there's some things in here that I really don't want to share with the world but um, yeah so basically um, I haven't really gotten very far as far as I don't have a lot of stickers or anything like that but um, I wanted to share this with you because if you are I know it's a little bit late into January already but um, if you were kind of like watching some of the videos which you know, they become very heavy-handed on uh, the first month of of the new year where everyone's talking about the planners and talk about you know you know you should go online and order one and you can get your name embossed on it and you do all this fancy stuff um, and all said and done you spent a hundred dollars and you have something that's only gonna be good for you for a, a short period of time um, I bought like I said I bought this at Michael's um, I used my 40% off coupon and everything that I purchased like all the stickers and things I just I'm so worried that I have lost that bag I really am afraid that I may have accidentally thrown it in the trash so I'm really worried about that but I hope I do find it I'll keep you guys posted if I find it because if I don't find it I'm just gonna be so heartbroken but like all of these things that I purchased like these little stickers and things like this the little um, uh, receipt holders and stuff I purchased everything using my 40% off coupon so I did have to make several trips to Michael's just to get to the point of, that I am now but it was totally worth it so basically this whole like the binder and everything probably cost me um, let's see probably about $30 like to do everything that I've done so far like I said that included the the rings that were $4.99 I got those for 40% off the binder was $24.99 and I got that for 40% off I think these stickers were like maybe like um, $5.99 or something like that um, the little receipt holders I got those for 40% off like I said everything I got for 40% off these uh, stickers that I used to put my name on here I want to say they were $3.99 and I got them for 40% off. So you see where I'm going? Like I totally used, took advantage of the 40% off coupons that they have at Michael's and everything that I got. I I really hate that I, I cause I was gonna do a whole add it all up to you with my receipt and everything that was inside this bag that I can't find. But um, I don't wanna continue to wait because I really needed to get this video done and get it up, you know, get it posted and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, so My Life 365 binder from Michaels is my best purchase so far for my life changes in 2016. Um, this is gonna help me somewhat stay focused. I'm gonna be doing budgeting things in here. And I know when I say that, I'm like laughing at myself because I talk about budgeting and then this weekend I posted that I bought myself some new Uggs. But there were a few things that, um, and this does go along with life changes as well. Like there were a few things that I have always wanted for myself and um you know back in 2015 i purchased my louis vuitton which was amazing for me and i'm so thankful to god that I, the <coughs> <coughs> excuse me because it was really through his blessings that that whole thing worked out as well as it did because i know that it could have turned into a total disaster but that was a major purchase for me in 2015 so um even though i'm talking about a budget and i'm saying things about being on a budget and it may look like I'm spending a lot of money right now but it's because there are a few things that I have made myself a promise that I was gonna go ahead and get regardless and I'm going to be happy with them and, and and if it's something that I've really wanted and I've talked myself out of it for whatever reason like for example I have always wanted Uggs and I'll, I'm gonna show share this little brief story with you and I know I'm like oh my god you guys are like girl get on with it already I'm sorry but this is me and I only know how to do my videos my way so that's not gonna change in 2016 I'm gonna I'm just gonna be me but um when I speak of budget that's why I'm gonna explain this like this planner is helping me stay in budget like it's helping me because I'm writing down like exactly like um, my finances like I'm really really focusing on making sure that um, I'm staying within a certain budget even though for probably this month there are gonna be a couple of purchases that are probably going to be a little bit 
random and not what I'm supposed to be. Well, when I say not that I'm supposed to be, I am supposed to be doing it because there are things that I want and things that I've set forth that I was going to do. But it may seem like I'm just blowing money or I'm just spending crazy money. I'm not. I'm just doing things that I have to do. Part of my life changes because, again, what I'm getting ready to say is um, I have always wanted a pair of Uggs. And I've always said, I love them, I love them, I love them. I know they were expensive, and so I would always rule it out because I was often told they're ugly, and why would anybody want that? And like it or not, um, confession as it would be, I listened to that. And so I would convince myself, like I, I really didn't push the effort to get them, even though I truly wanted them so bad. So God is so gracious and so good because this weekend when I was in Houston, walked into DSW and lo and behold, I see these shoes that were Uggs and I'm like, these boots and I'm like, oh my God. And they're on the clearance rack. And then the lady had come through and she goes, ma'am, just to let you know, everything that's on clearance today is an extra 20% off. And I was like, hey now. So basically I got a $200 pair of Uggs for $93, 101 with tax. And there was a process, I'll tell you about that some other time, but basically, I paid attention to what mattered to me. I don't care if you think that they're ugly. I don't care, you know. And I, when I say that, I'm not talking to you people on YouTube. This is a personal thing. But um, I like them. <laughs> so I'm really happy. So anyway, that's basically kind of me explaining to you the whole 2016 life changes like these are kind of things so because i'm saying i'm on a budget don't think well she's saying she's on a budget and the girl out there blowing all kinds of crazy money yes it does seem that way but part of my life changes is making sure i stay true to some of the things that i really want and doing this planner is helping me do that like i have listed um a few things that i that are very important to me and whether or not people find them to be appropriate approve of them or whatever it's what i want and it's what i'm going to do so um again like basically my first step episode one if you'll have it is um i'm creating i've created myself a my life life planner from michael's and um i love it i i i love the purchase that i made and this is my first step in getting into the new me uh, making my life changes work for me, how be it that they may, if that makes any sense at all. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's kind of long. I know it's kind of random. I kind of got off on a little bit of a tangent. Then I ended up with some tears coming into my eyes, and I do truly apologize for that. Um, I just needed you guys to kind of understand why in the past when I would make promises and to where you wouldn't say, okay, here she goes again. This girl always makes these promises and she never keeps you know never keeps up with them she always falls by the wayside and so i'm not promising anything anymore um as far as youtube goes i'm i'm just telling you guys my life changes and however that they may happen i'm doing them based on episodes this was my planner episode i pretty sure my next episode is i'm going to share with you my list um because I should have my list completed by then. Um, I really need to focus a lot on what I want to include on my list and how that will maybe maybe give me an idea how many episodes I'm gonna break this down into. But as you can see, and this one was long because I really needed to explain and then get into the planner. So my next one, I won't have to explain. I'll just get into whatever the, the situation may be. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I said that and then I rambled on for probably another two or three minutes. So I do apologize for that. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you want to continue to see my videos. And if you appreciate the fact that I decided to be so bluntly honest with you guys today. I've said something. I've taken a step today that I... You know, when 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 the video the video when the video is uploaded will be the actual true task because I could so like right now hit the delete button and delete this bad boy, but I really I don't want to. I really um, this is me, and I really wanted to. This is part of that life changes that I was talking about, so I really just wanted to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video as soon as possible. I do have an errand to run. I do plan to do an outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. I'm like so out of it right now. But I do plan to do an outfit of the day because I am wearing um, a shirt that I wanted to share with you guys that I shared in a haul recently. So anyway, don't forget again, I keep saying things and then I go rambling again, but thumbs up this video, hit the subscribe button, hang out with me in 2016. You won't find it boring, I promise.